Hey guys, welcome to another video on our YouTube channel. This time it's about activating your Windows after a major hardware change. If you recently make significant hardware changes to a computer, such as replacing the motherboard, processor, or main storage drive, the hard disk drive, Windows 10 is likely not going to recognize it as the same device. That works for Windows 7, uh, or also for the lower version of operating system, and even with Windows 11 as the newest operating system. It usually caused the setup to become deactivated with error 0xc004f211. In the past, if the setup lost its activation after upgrading or replacing some of the hardware, you had to actually contact Microsoft Technical Support directly to reactivate your operating system, which was a solution less than ideal since you needed to go through many steps and not many users knew about that option. However, since the original release of Windows 10, the activation has evolved and now you can associate the computer's digital license to your Microsoft account and then use the activation troubleshooter feature to reactivate after hardware change or clean installation. In this video, we will walk you through the steps to use the activation troubleshooter. This is a feature to reactivate your device or your operating system after a hardware change. But if you haven't changed your hardware or you haven't upgraded any of your hardware components, to ensure reactivation happens successfully after hardware change on Windows 10 or Windows 11 computers, you gotta check this settings, click on update and security, click on activation. Under the Windows section, confirm activation is set to Windows activated with a digital license. Under the add a Microsoft account section, click add an account option. Also quick note, if the activation is set to Windows is activated with a digital license linked to your Microsoft account, then the product key is already linked to your Microsoft account. So you gotta make sure that you know what is the Microsoft account email address and the password for that account. If that is the case, then you just have to confirm your Microsoft account credentials. Click next button, confirm your account password, and confirm your local account password as well. But if you have changed your hardware already, and now you are facing the activation issue, if you have a license that is a digital, which means tied to your Microsoft account, then you can just go to settings, click on update and security, click on activation, under the Windows section, click the troubleshoot option. After that, click the I change hardware on this device recently option. Confirm your Microsoft account credentials. Click the sign in button. Select the device to activate with the new hardware. Quick tip, if the computer doesn't appear on the list, click the see other devices link to your Microsoft account option and then select the device. Check the this is the device I'm using right now option and click the activate button. After you complete those steps, the Windows 10 installation will activate again even after the hardware change and you can start using your device normally. But in the case that the activation doesn't work for you, you may need to purchase another product kit to reactivate Windows. Windows 10 or Windows 11. If this is your case, the best option is to obtain a Windows 10 Pro license to access all the features of the system has to offer. But if the Windows 10 Pro license is or too expensive for you, check the description. You might want to contact that email address. He will help you. You can obtain Windows Prodigy for a very low price. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you again to my next video. Have a great day.